Celebrating the baby boomer lifestyle. This is Boomer Life with Sterling Fox on AM 650. Welcome back to the program. Boomer Life today is all about solutions to debt. Solutions that you may not even be aware of, especially when we refer to things like a consumer proposal. Joining us in studio today is George Abacan, the president of Abacan and Associates, proposal administrators and trustees in bankruptcy. George, a lot of a lot of people, I mean, we talked about the fact that in British Columbia, the typical uh, personal debt load is around 40 grand. Uh, most of that is credit card debt. Um, uh, there's a lot of really super cheap money out there. It's awfully tempting. And I think a lot of younger people particularly get into some financial difficulties by failing to distinguish the difference between wants and needs. Can you reflect that in your experience with dealing with the, the, uh, the outcomes of, uh, of, of misplacing wants for needs? Well, I mean, I think of uh, certainly up north, uh, run into this probably more than anything else. Um, you know, everybody has to have a pickup. You know, everybody has to have an F-350. Mm-hmm. Uh, an F-350 will lease you out at about thirteen to $1,500 a month. Right. And then you've got the insurance and the gas and everything else. Well, $1,500 a month plus another three or 400 make it 1800 And you've got a take-home pay of $3,200. Mm-hmm. And the guy comes in, he's got, you know, his wants, his wants are probably a car at $500 right. or even $400. Uh, and that's what his needs should be. Right, right. But he, he wants... He, he needs to get back and forth to work, period. Well, he wants, right. however, to travel back and forth to work like the king of the hill, right? Like, like his buddies. Sure, sure. Like his buddies, but he hasn't got his buddies' salaries, etc. Right. So that's where... For instance, I would recommend that he gets rid of it, and he just because he can't spend 50% of his take-home pay on his car. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just not not on. Um, but people have dri- been gradually driven into this by the avail- availability of credit cards. Exactly right. And they get one, they get two, and really what they're doing is they don't care about the interest rate. They don't care whether it's 20% or 5% or whatever it is. If the credit card says you've got to pay $250 this month, they just pay the minimum amount. Right. In the meantime, they go out there and, they, they, and they'll probably borrow that money from another credit card. So the cycle goes up there. Yeah. And eventually, they run out of room, and that's when they turn up in our office. Uh, um, but, you know, the, the thing about but proposals... The, the, okay. The thing about proposals is that... Uh, the way I look at it and the way our firm looks at it is that the Bankruptcy Act is not a um, punishment situation. You don't get sent to Australia anymore. We don't have debtor's prison no. any longer either, do we? And thank <laughs> goodness for that, George. Exactly. So what I, what we regard it as is a, um, it's a revitalization. It's a uh, getting a fresh start. It's um, almost financial rehabilitation. Isn't it's it? rehabilitation, exactly. It's not a punishment. Now it does get to be a punishment if you go bankrupt two or three times, but right. certainly the first time, it's a rehabilitation process, and it gives you the opportunity to start off again. And you know we'll work uh, we'll work with the debtors, uh, try to reestablish their credit, etc. Um, which generally is a, on a cash basis to begin with. And well, you were talking earlier about about uh, the guy with the F three fifty using over fifty percent of his take home pay for a vehicle. For crying out right. loud, what do you say to young couples these days, George, who are contemplating, who may be smart enough to come to you just for some advice, and who are contemplating buying into the real estate market at Vancouver or even British Columbia prices and super cheap? Um, um, mortgages right now, which of course can only go up. What do you t- what do you t- and, and and which in many cases would would take eighty percent of their uh, earnings to just service mortgage debt. I mean, is this realistic for young couples, or like Europeans, are young Canadians going to have to learn to rethink home ownership as something that may not automatically be part of your entitlement uh, with your Canadian passport? It's something that you may or may not end up doing. Uh, I think uh, a lot of the situation is localized into Vancouver. 
Uh, once you get out beyond uh, Abbotsford or even as far as Abbotsford, um, the cost of housing is significantly less. True. It's nuts in so, the city, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's nuts in um, in Victoria mm-hmm, and, mm-hmm. and certainly in Vancouver. So if you want to live in Vancouver, your best, uh, your best uh, deal is renting. Right. Um, but, um, and outside of Vancouver... Uh, mortgage uh, mortgage financing is still available and yeah. and it's you know it you can work it within the pr- dynamics of what the uh, banks are expecting but most people who come into your offices uh, with financial serious financial concerns and problems are of the opinion that they're going to lose uh, their homes many of them are it, it's well it's now it's just a matter of time and it's they're going to take it away from me they feel well, that way don't they they do, and uh, in fact, that's one of the main concerns. Am I going to lose my car? Yeah. Am I going to lose my house? And I say, no, so long as you keep making the payments, can you afford to make the payments? Well, if I didn't have the credit card debt, I would be able right. to. And I said, well, we can deal with the credit card debt, but if you want to stay in the house, and of course, many of them want to stay in the house because the kids are now in the house and they're growing up in the in the house. Sure. And I want to keep the car, and if it's too expensive, I tell them what I said before about trying to get rid of it. You can, uh, you know, a car dealer or car financier has an option of seizing or suing. So um, if he sues for the amount, then you get to keep the car. Right. Which they're not likely to do. Right, they'd just rather have their wheels back, right? They'll get the wheels back, and not making the payments for, say, two or three months, you can buy yourself a cheap car. Right. Now... Many, many of my um, debtors that I advise will um, uh, will go that route. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you get rid of the credit card debt. They can now afford to make the payments on the car, and they can afford to make the uh, payment on the house. They don't have to worry about a mortgage foreclosure uh, unless they're already being foreclosed, mm-hmm. in which case uh, that debt, if there's a shortfall in the debt, it just goes into the proposal or the, or the bankruptcy. I think the most important uh, part of this conversation for anyone listening is, is the fact that, uh, as we said right at the very beginning, George, you know, the, it, it, it's it, while it may uh, seem at the moment an insurmountable problem, uh, if you're at the receiving end of all of these abusive phone calls and letters, and you've really just run right, you're run out, that it, you know there is hope. There are professionals who are quite capable of taking you uh, out of the impossible situation you feel you're in right now and turn your life around. And it's quite simple. But you have to make the first move. You have to pick up the phone or go online to moneytroubles.ca. Or, and if you do go online, all of the contact information is there. The phone numbers, the addresses, the individuals at all five Abacan and Associates offices around British Columbia. It's all on the website, right? Exactly. Any one of our uh, colleagues in any one of our offices can advise you. And generally we work with a buddy system so that if one guy... Uh, you'll be interviewed by one or two people, preferably two people, and when one guy's not available, the other person which would be available. Right. So we try and work your way through the system. Abacan and Associates, A-B-A-K-H-A-N. George Abacan, a pleasure to have you on Boomer Life, and I look forward to more conversations in the days ahead. Well, thank you very much. We'll see you next time here on AM650.